Hello everyone, my name is Elena and welcome to our webinar. So today I'm going to walk you through the basics of affiliate marketing in Envas industry. But first of all, please uh, let me know if you can see me well, hear me well. You can just you know, put any sign in a chat box and just to make sure that it's all going fine. I'm going to give you half a minute and we're ready to go. Okay, perfect. I, perfect. Thank you so much for your reactions. Um, first of all, let me tell you a few words about Golden Goose and who we are and what we do. Um, Golden Goose is a global performance-based ad network. Uh, we are international and uh, we are a huge marketing hub for direct carrier billing services with daily payments. Um, really, I think it sounds super cool. <laughs> Uh, we offer 20 plus payment methods. Uh, first of all, we have all major payment systems and also USDT. We also own uh, 4,000 plus mobile content offers, uh, just you know, for any taste in every niche, every vertical possible. Um, we cover all the countries that have uh, Envas niche at all. It's about 150 countries that we cover. And we now have around 300 advertisers on our platform. And more than that, we have a built-in pre-lending system. Uh, you know, it's really cool because you don't need to use tools like Adplexity. It's the same thing, similar to Adplexity, but it's built in and totally free, free of charge for you. Uh, now let's talk a little bit about MVAS abbreviation. Uh, it stands for Mobile Value Added Services. So simply put, Envas is a, Envas means mobile content uh, offers. It's uh, one of the most prominent affiliate marketing verticals and it's really easy to earn money with that for our affiliates. Um, now let's move to DCB because you know Envas and DCB, they work together. Uh, Envas uses DCB uh, as a technology, as a payment technology uh, direct carrier billing uh, means that an end user purchases mobile content services using money on their mobile phone account. So it's pretty fast and convenient. Um, so to sum it up, what are the main advantages of um, Envas? Yeah, here we are. First of all, um, DCB transaction takes place instantly and uh, there are no holds. So uh, in the end, you have no canceled leads because the payment happens right away and you have your conversion right away. <clears throat> so you don't need to follow any KPIs or just wait until you, you get paid. Um, some verticals in affiliate marketing, they have you know, legal restrictions like in gambling or crypto traffic, but not in our case. Uh, in our case, you are free of this kind of things. Um, easy conversion flows. What does that mean? That means that in Envas, oh sorry, first of all let me tell you what conversion flow is. Conversion flow is a way how a user is gets subscribed to the service. Mm. And uh, in Envas you can find different types of conversion flows, easier one or a more complicated one. So we'll talk about it a little, a little bit later. Also it's easy to launch and test a campaign in Envas and you don't need your website, you don't need to be a owner of a, an owner of a website or just develop it because, yeah, you can run traffic from your website, but it's not necessary. You can go with, you can opt in for a lot of other payments, uh, pay, pay, pay traffic sources. Also, there are more than, there are almost, sorry, not more, <laughs> not yet. There are almost eight uh, billion people in the world and, uh, you know, a lot of people have uh, smartphones, mobile phones, and uh, each mobile phone has a SIM card. So potentially all these people could be your subscribers. Uh, now let's switch to the next slide and um, you can see here which categories are there in Envas. I'm sure you already know a lot of them as you had a chance to work with some of them like sweepstakes, dating, agile. 
Uh, so MVAS represents almost all the same ca categories you already know. You can see them here. I'm going to give you several seconds. And now let's move to a pretty complicated slide because, you know, it takes um, a little bit time to understand how things work if you are a newbie. Uh, it's a slide dedicated to conversion flows that there are in uh, Envas. Um, so to sum it up, there are two types of flows in Envas. The ones that are pretty easy, like one-click flow or two-click flow that only re requires one or two simple action from a user. Uh, so, for example, for one-click flow, a user just needs to call to a click to action button and get redirected to a page and, and get subscribed. So, it's pretty easy. Uh, talking about other, like pre-filled pin submit or pin submit or click to SMS or USD, USSD, they are pretty complicated for a user. But uh, the main advantage is Usually the rates are higher here, comparing to one-click flow and two-click flow. Um, let's briefly get into it. Prefill pin submit is a flow when a user clicks a button or call to action, and they are transferred to a page where their phone number is already detected. Uh, this is why it's called prefilled. So it usually happens when a user searches the web using 3G or 4G connection. And then they need to click on a button and to receive an SMS with a uh, four to six digit and just, uh, yeah, sorry, um, get a little bit lost. Yeah, so the user needs to put a four to six digit and after that they get subscribed when they send an SMS with this kind of digit. Um, the other one is just pin submit, not pre-fill one. And the main difference here is it's all the same as a pre-fill pin submit, but uh, uh, user, in this case, user is, is usually searching the web using Wi-Fi connection, not a 3 or 4G connection. We also have a premium SMS here. It's when a user stumbles upon an offer and click on the call to action button, and they are taken to their default messages app. There, an SMS is already pre-filled uh, with the content and uh, a number. So all the user needs to do is just click send button and they are subscribed to the service. Um, as for USSD, uh, when a user sees an ad and clicks on that, they are transferred to a lender where they see a digital panel uh, with numbers and need to confirm their subscription by clicking on a specific digit. Probably it sounds a little bit complicated, uh, even I am sometimes lost when I describe these flows, but if you have, uh, you know, questions about that, you can always address to your personal manager or you can always check our blog and uh, make sure you understand this all correctly. So we're always ready to help you and explain it again and again. So what we have here next? Um, here we have a list of possible traffic sources that are working for Envas. There are no restrictions for traffic sources. You can work with any you like or you know. Again, I'm going to give you several seconds to check what we have here. So now we've shed a light on what the Envas and, and DCB and what flows we have here and, and, and advantages. And now probably you think, what should I do with all this information? <laughs> and this is the right question because now it's time to talk about offer selection and uh, uh, offer selection based on your traffic sources. So let's switch to traffic sources. Mm. Here you see all possible and most popular traffic sources that you can use to run traffic to Envas. Um, please pay attention to the most popular traffic source. It's push and pop traffic and it works with all offers. Uh, push and pops are probably the most converting uh, 
at Format Cinevas. If you have your own website, choose an offer that, that choose offers that are you know suitable for, to a topic of your website. If there isn't a landing with a needed design for a certain geo, you can always ask your manager for one. As for social media like Facebook, um, it works really well with African geos. Please pay attention to traffic sources, geos and a, a vertical like adult or mainstream before you decide to run your traffic. For Google as a traffic source, it's best to take simple offers with a simple flow like one or two click offers. For Facebook, uh, we recommend to go with offers that have all carrier coverage because there is no option to target exact carriers on Facebook. Also for in-app and web view, uh, we think it's better to go with downloaders here because they are the best format for this type of traffic. Uh, the very important thing here is to say that you always need to know and remember how to work with angles and bundles. Let me explain that. An angle is a connection between the product and offer you advertise. So you select an offer and then it works together with your landing page, pre-landing page, creatives, uh, traffic source, targeting, etc. And all these things, they influence your performance. So without angles, you probably won't succeed. So please try to think about it and always try to make split tests. Here are some tips on creatives and pre-landings for MWAS offers. We have a vast base of pre-landings. Uh, each offer has a landing and a pre-landing. Uh, use a pre-landing you like when you set up your ad campaign. You can normally run a split test. You can go with a campaign that has no pre-landing and you can go with the same landing but choose, but, but select any pre-landing you like and see which bundle converts best. Also, we have some offers that have ready-made banners and uh, you need to choose pre-landing based on an offer and its topic. It doesn't need to contain a lot of text. It just should be catchy for user. Uh, also try to avoid texts on your creatives, especially with push notifications. As I said, creatives needs to be bright and eye-catching, and that's it. If you don't know where to start uh, with pre landings you can always use spy tools. And uh, if a creative runs for more than two days, that means it works. If you don't know how to use services like Photoshop and it's pretty complicated for you, you can always go with Canva. It's easy and user-friendly. Also, there are tons of online tools. Here is the list of the possible tools you can use to work with creatives. Here is the spy tools. You can just grab things out of there or you can create your own using Canva and other services. Now let me say a few words about any fraud restrictions. It's important because we have several geos that are totally against any adult traffic and it's totally restricted within those countries. So uh, our anti-fraud system controls traffic quality in real time and also it controls stuff like pushing adults clicks to mainstream offers. Don't worry, sometimes th if things happen we detect them just in a second and we update you on that and we resolve that thing. But please keep in mind that sometimes you need to be more careful working with those kind of offers. Um, now we're moving to one of the most interesting things we've prepared for you. We have been running a case study. We have been running an offer for a case study. <laughs> uh, we've been running it for 45 days 
and we used Propeller Ads as our traffic source and we used Papander as an ad format. So, um, we have selected an offer for Colombia uh, with a payout of 24 cents and we got 30% return on investment. So here is a screenshot from our, our dashboard and here is the whole stats. Let's take a look at that. And you can also see a uh, offer ID. So you can just work with this offer too. It's open for you anytime. Now let's move to the Swedish part here. We have prepared several bonuses to our uh, uh, dear partners. Uh, but first, let's mention that in uh, Golden Goose, we have special promos, uh, rates and special conditions to our best affiliates that generate huge volumes of conversions and, and work with us for a long time. So we have a possibility to increase your rate personally if we see that you're a prospective partner and you can always contact your manager and ask for that possibility. Now our first bonus. Here you see a prepared, this slide and this slide. Here you see a list of awesome converting offers that you can just grab and run. The second one is we have a free special course that we prepared for you, mostly for newbies, but not only. Uh, it's a great beginner course for, uh, for newbies uh, in Envas. You can just read about Envas, about different bundles, how things work, how to, to run, and uh, really helpful if you are just a beginner here. So guys, thank you so much for your attention and support and now it's time for your questions. Um, give me just several seconds to make sure we have questions on the list. Okay, uh, I see questions and the first one is, what should I do if the selected offer doesn't bring conversions? Okay, it's a very good question. <laughs> First of all, you should think about the ad format you are working with. Probably push doesn't work where pop under should. The second thing is you should uh, try and, and, and check. Probably you need to switch to a different traffic source, to a different network, for example. And also, uh, the third thing here I can think of instantly is probably you are not working with optimizations. If you have just one, two conversion, but you have them, you should stick to those sources that converted and try to make white lists only with those sources that worked for you. Uh, the second question, let me check. What makes you better than other affiliate networks on the market? <laughs> okay. Um, of course, daily payments. We pay daily, including weekends, so it's true and it works. <laughs> and the second thing here is that we have a uh, built-in for learning system. Uh, so you don't need to worry about creatives and about pre learnings You can just grab them and, and, and work with them right away. I think it's our two main uh, advantages here. Okay, let's see what we have. Oh, kind of tricky one, you know. <laughs> which, which categories contain antivirus learning pages? Uh, it's, it's a category called uh, downloaders. Uh, when you check our offer wall, you can always uh, select this cate category in the offer wall and you will see all the possible landing pages uh, in, in this category. Just choose downloaders if you want to work with uh, antivirus. Uh, 
Uh, did you use a pre-lender in the campaign from your case study? Uh, no, uh, as far as I'm concerned, we did not do that. And sometimes it works better than uh, running a campaign with a, um, with a pre-lending. Sometimes that happens. That's why I'm always pushing for doing a split test, one with the pre-lender and the other one just with the landing page. And then after a small test, you will see which one works best. Is Twitter a good social platform to use with Golden Goose? Honestly, we have several people uh, that tried Twitter and we had conversions. I won't say that we, it's a major traffic source. We are more used to TikTok and Facebook and sometimes other so sources but if you have uh, but if you think you can bring traffic from Twitter just register and you'll have your personal manager and you can try and, and set up things together I'm sure if you know how to work with Twitter traffic we'll set things up let's move on how many clicks do I need to run to understand that an offer doesn't fit my traffic once again, for my understanding, sorry. How many clicks do I need to? Mm -hmm. Got you. Mm. Well, the answer, it's a tough question. The answer depends on the offer itself, but uh, generally for push traffic, you can go with, I don't know, 500 clicks, more or less. For pop traffic, up to 1,000. But honestly, it's a little bit more complicated than that, so it's a very general answer. Uh, if you think you've spent too much money, but you don't have conversions, talk to your manager and you'll decide what to do together. I think it won't be a problem here. Okay, let's move on. I think we'll have several more questions here. Oh, sorry, yeah, we, ha we have a... Yeah, will you pay me daily if I ask to withdraw $3,000 every day? Yeah, <laughs> we'll pay you daily. <laughs> Probably the commission will be a little bit too high for instant payments. I I'm not sure you can check that. But yeah, we pay daily any payment methods you want. So yeah, it's not a problem. PayPal, Wire, USDT, any any payment method. Um, how much landing pages recommend? Sorry, not sure I'm getting this question. Can you please not, not scroll it so fast? Thank you. How much, how much landing page recommended to test one, two or three to find best landing page? Um, also, it very much depends uh, on the geo you're working with, but um, I think I would go with at least two because uh, this way we can run a split test and it shows us if this offer doesn't perform, perform with your traffic at all or just one landing doesn't perform on, for your traffic. So if you use just one and there are no conversions, you will think that, okay, it's not performing for my traffic. But if you use two, uh, you, you probably will see conversions at the other one. Okay. Would you recommend to use SmartLink? Is it a good way to test traffic? Exactly. It's, I think it's really close to my previous answer. Exactly. Um, we used to we recommend to use uh, SmartLink because this way you also have a chance to see what performs best for you. It doesn't mean that you have to work with this SmartLink forever or you should run 10 landing pages at once. You just create a SmartLink or your manager will help you to do that if you're, if you're struggle, struggling with this. And then you just make a, a, a small test, you push a little bit of traffic there and after a small test, you decide which 
landing pages works work best for you and you can just stick to those ones could you oh sorry could you recommend some traffic sources effective on golden goose um, I'm not sure <laughs> that I can reply uh, that I can give you a reply here because um, it's not a cross promo. <laughs> um, well, my answer here is if you are already with us, please contact your manager and you'll get a personal recommendation about the best sources. If you are not registered, you can just send us an email uh, to our general, uh, general mail and we also give you a reply with the exact and concrete sources you can go with. Which verticals have the highest return on investment or does this depend on the campaign and offer itself? Yeah, exactly. Uh, it's, uh, there, is n there is no unique an answer for that because um, I would say that mostly it depends on the traffic source because for one offer, different traffic sources, they can show a totally different performance. And for example, if we take one offer and run it on Facebook and run it on, I don't know, propeller ads, it will give you just totally different results. Um, let's see what we have here as well. Uh, can you please scroll down a little bit? Oh, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. And a little bit more <laughs> down. Okay, there. I see the questions are more or less overlapping each other and they're more or less about the same kind of things. That's why I'm not. So if you have any other questions, just, just let me know. We'll wait a little bit. Let's check if we have any other questions. Can you please uh, scroll? Oh, yeah, I see. <laughs> I see a question about caps. Um, I've seen that some offers have limits, caps, this is how we call that. Um, how to work with such offers? Uh, yeah, some offers have a limitation uh, for conversions daily. For example, uh, for you like the offer and you want to run this and your manager tells that, okay, there is a limit for 100 conversions daily for the whole system. You don't need to worry about that or to think about that all, all the time because you will have a uh, personal notification when uh, the uh, limit is turning off and it's close to turning off so you, you have, a ti have time to post, to post traffic. Um, it, it's possible to, to increase caps if we see that you are willing to run huge volumes and you're willing to uh, make more conversions daily, so it's possible to increase a cap. No worries about that. What gels would you suggest for a beginner in Envas? Oh, it's really a pity that you didn't uh, tell us about your main traffic source. It will be a lot more easier. But let me reply the following way. I wouldn't recommend you a geo but I can recommend you any geo that has one two click flow conversion type. So those ones that I was talking before and those ones are the easiest. So please choose any geo you feel comfortable with and uh, see if those geo offers one click flow offers or two click flow offers and just try to start with them.
-hmm. I think we can stop here. Thank you so much for your time, uh, for your attention and for your questions. They are really great and uh, it was my pleasure to reply to them and I, I hope I was helpful. Um, hope to see you guys, uh, talk to you later after the webinar. You can just ping our Skype, so you can ping our email and we are happy to talk to you and reply your questions if you have any left. Thank you so much, uh, bye and good luck to everyone.